is going to be on how to apply the power of reciprocation, the influence and persuasion principle of reciprocation, to public relations and press releases, how to get more PR for your company. Um, this should really help you whether you're a small business owner, a PR professional, or just a marketer that's trying to get better at PR, so I've got one more kind of strategy for doing marketing for whoever they're working for. Now, to start with, there's, uh, there's three different, um, basically, audiences or ways that I think you can instantly apply reciprocation to public relations. Um, and basically, the principle of reciprocation is that if you give somebody something, um, like a free training program, they're going to feel indebted and they'll want to you know, give you money or help or favors or introductions or a product or something in return. Uh, when you give somebody a gift, they naturally say thank you, or they're going to give you a gift at the next holiday. It's really natural, automatic, and subconscious. And um, as a PR professional, you can apply this in many different ways. The most important way is when interacting with media professionals. If you think of somebody, for example, at Inc. Business Magazine, if you want to be on the front cover of their magazine and you want to get attention of their chief editor, um, you're not going to do it by trying to pitch them like everybody else. You're going to have to do something that is going to set you apart. Maybe you are Steve Jobs and you don't need to, but you're probably not if you're watching this video. So there's things you can do to get an edge over people you're competing against when it comes to getting attention from PR professionals. One thing you can do is send helpful facts and surveys and statistics to that chief editor, or even better, a specific editor who's in charge of tracking, say, um, finance and investment startup companies. If that's the market you work in, maybe you run an investment banking company, then you send them statistics and facts and information on that consistently in a very concise manner that helps them flush out their stories and trends in the industry. You can also just volunteer yourself as a resource and say, you know what, we might not have a great angle on the story now for you, but if you need somebody for an interview, we can be Johnny on the spot for you, jump on the phone, fly and meet with you in person and help round out that story you're working on at any time. Use us as a resource, we're on call here to help you. Most media professionals are on very tight deadlines and they receive thousands of emails a week. So what you have to do is be very concise in how you communicate with them and then be very available when they're on a tight writing deadline. They might need a story by midnight tonight. So if they ask for information, you have to be there ready for them at any time. So the more that you can provide them with value first by offering yourself as being available, providing them with statistics and resources to help them get their stories done, the better. Next, you can also apply reciprocation to getting the word out about your company to bloggers and writers in the industry. There's probably hundreds of blogs within your niche, if not thousands, and many of them get pitched all the time by press uh, PR professionals Within an email, it basically says, if you want to talk to this expert, they are great, they are amazing, they've accomplished so much, you really should be interviewing them. Um, we get those emails all the time from the blogs that we run, and we delete them constantly. Best way to get the attention of somebody, especially a blogger, is to send them an express mail, something that looks like a very expensive mailing, which might only cost $4, and then a very professional one-page letter, um, or a little gift inside with a folder, something that's very high touch and feels like it's got a lot of value to it, and you'll really get their attention. Put in a five, ten dollar gift of some type, um, and then make sure it's express mailed, and then they'll be guaranteed to open it, which they might not even do if it's an email, and you can be pretty damn sure they're at least going to read the first paragraph of that letter. So there's a lot of like copywriting techniques that can go into public relations to get people to actually read your requests, but in terms of reciprocation, give them something of value first by sending them a gift in a high quality format such as an express mail package and that way you can get the attention of high-end bloggers within your niche. Another reciprocation approach is to look at the audience and the customers you're trying to reach and include reciprocation within your press releases and announcements. You can do this by running prizes or contests or just issuing a press release that maybe you released a whole um, thing of working guidelines for investment banks or whole working guidelines for companies that use investment banking services and you're giving away tons of value to your audience that might have to otherwise hire a consultant to get that same information, but you're giving all that information away for free to your potential investment banking customers. In return, they're going to see your investment bank as the expert and they're going to feel indebted to you. They'll want to work with you, hire you, um, go to your training seminar, hire you for investment banking services, read your book, etc. So reciprocation is a great way to increase your effectiveness as a PR professional. 
Again, the three ways are to focus on being more effective with media partners by respecting their time and being an available resource to them at any time. Be more effective with bloggers by using high quality mailing materials and giving them a gift in the mail. And then be more effective with your target audience by giving away working guidelines, best practices, white papers, books, and articles that really give away the farm in terms of free advice and then the result are going to bring a ton of potential customers towards you. So I hope this really, I hope this really helps you apply the power of reciprocation to being a PR professional or using PR in your business. Thank you for joining us. And again, this is businesstraining.com where you can earn a master's level qualification to help you make more money.